Hello everyone. The mug we're going to work on today is the tin can mug. It's a really neat shape. It's got the little grooves around here. This is not stoneware, so it is not going to be dishwasher safe. It is the normal mugs that we have in the shop that use our normal regular glazes. But we've just started um, trying out some new glazes, which are also food safe, but they're so cool. They are the Terabella line. Um, the colors we're going to use today is a 551 Egyptian Blue, the 552 Jadeite, and then the 553. It's called Reactive White. Um, it's going to create a really neat pebbly effect when we get to that part. Now, what's different about the Terabella from what we normally would do? Normally, I wouldn't worry about the number of coats because it was going to get clear coated. These mugs do not get clear coated. It's counting on you to put the right number of coats on here to make them truly food safe. Um, the paint is a little bit thinner than what we're used to, so you do have to be careful that you do get the right amount of coats and you take your time and you let them build up. Um, for sake of time, I went ahead and I've already started a mug getting the base coating done. So what we've done, this will be another to-go kit that you can get, and if you choose this one, you'll get all the color options. You can go back and watch this video to learn how. Um, did the inside four coats I know four is a lot but it's so much thinner four coats of the 552 jadeite that's gonna be really pretty so you want to make sure you do one coat let it dry let the shine go away and then do your second your third and then your fourth and when I painted this especially on the edges I used the brush and I just came up and let it form its natural edge here I didn't worry about getting the edge done so I did four coats of that let that dry then I went to the outside and this is Egyptian blue it's a really pretty blue I know you can't tell now because it looks kind of gray I did three coats of the Egyptian blue so we did three coats on the outside and the brush strokes I kind of went with that direction just because that's where the design is in the mug and then three coats on the handle as well three coats on the bottom I did just a real quick coat up around the edge because I know the steps that come next are going to take care of that edge work. So that's, again, four coats inside, jadeite, three coats outside, Egyptian blue. Seems like a lot, but we're going to add some more colors, and it's like all the paint that's building up is what's going to create the really neat effect. So now that this has completely dried, we are going to go back to our jadeite, which again is 552, and we're going to do two more coats of jadeite. We're only going to do it about the halfway mark, so I'd say from maybe this point up. We want to do just two coats. I'm going to go ahead and avoid the handle because we are going to do something later with the handle, so I want to just keep the handle blue. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Just kind of find yourself a halfway mark. I didn't draw on this like we did on some of our other lessons because we were just going to have to cover it up with all this base coat painting. So right now I'm just doing, this is just my first coat of jadeite across the top. I guess with this mug you can almost use a little you can see the little gap between the handle where the handles attached use that as your halfway mark that's a pretty good gauge and again we're going to avoid the handle up here and just kind of paint around it we've had these paints for a while we just really haven't had time to really play with them and experiment with them. The few things I have done I really, really liked. So again, we're still just still on our first coat. You can see how thin it is. Now because the inside is jadeite, just go ahead and do your edge with this. You don't have to be real careful. It's 
So we have one coat done of the jadeite. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to go back and do the second coat. Nothing quite as exciting as watching paint dry. And when I say we want it to dry, it's really just waiting for the shine to go away. It's not going to be completely dry, but you don't want to be brushing it on and moving the paint around. I'm not very patient. Sometimes I blow on it to get it to dry quicker. Okay. So that is good enough for me. So we are going to go back. And this is coat two of the jadeite. You see how it really is building up? So that's our second coat. That's all the jadeite we need for that part. And just kind of go around and make sure you've got really good coverage on the whole thing. Now you're going to be getting this as a to-go probably. Um, so when you're home and you're doing this, I would suggest once you're done completely painting this, just let it sit out on the counter, maybe overnight before you even try to wrap it up to bring it back. Give it a chance to really dry well. So we did our second coat. I'm going to hit the lip of it one more time. So I'm trying to keep the coats pretty smooth and uniform. So that's what we have so far. So again, to recap, that was three coats of Egyptian blue on the whole thing in the handle, and then two coats of jadeite just about halfway up and then along the lip of the mug. So we're gonna let that dry just a little bit before we move on to our last step. work on the handle we're still waiting for all of this jadeite to dry so we're going to use the reactive white now this is really it's pretty on a lot of colors I think my favorite that I've seen is it over the Egyptian blue is really really pretty so we are going to actually well, I've got a sample I can show you of Egyptian blue you see the little like cobblestone effect that you get that is white over Egyptian blue isn't it beautiful okay so that is the look we are going for on the handle so again you'll see I've got this big brush and this is what I'm using for the whole project For the handle, I'm not going to worry about getting underneath the handle. I'm going to keep this effect just for the outside edge of it. So that is just one coat, but we still need to build it up to two coats. You kind of see we've just kept it along 
the outer edge. Didn't worry about going on the inside. The inside is going to be a real pretty blue, and then this will have like that little cobblestone look on the outside. Okay. Looks like the shine is just about gone, so we'll go ahead and we'll put our second coat of the cop of the uh, Egyptian. Bah. The reactive white. <laughs> you can see how it's building up really nice on that. So how this is kind of different, you know, typically the stuff we paint in here, we do three coats and we're done. That's the most you want, three coats. These, you can actually layer multiple coats on it and you won't have problems as long as you're keeping everything within this whole paint line. So we want a really good heavy coat of this white. Might take a little while to dry, but that's okay. So the handle has got the two coats of the reactive white, which is again, 553. And we are still waiting for all of this to dry before we can move on. So let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. Just pause for a minute. I'll come back in just a second. Okay. So pretty much the jadeite has dried enough that we can move on to our last step. Last step, we're still working with the reactive white. So what we're going to do, this is the Egyptian blue down here, the jadeite up here that went over the Egyptian blue. Now where the two meet, and probably maybe a brush stroke above and maybe below, just want to kind of create a band around here. That's going to give you that neat little cobblestone look where it overlaps the blue down here, just like what it's doing on the handle. It's going to give you another look where it goes over the jadeite. So you want to get in that little gap between the handle too as well. I find this is easier on this little tin can mug because there's already lines on the mug. So you can kind of tell if you're painting horizontal strokes or not without too much trouble. Now the tricky part is going to be this white painting it over the jadeite does not look that different. So you just want to kind of pay attention. You can kind of see it does look a little different. And you'll see working with this, it's really important. Just let things dry between your strokes. Take your time with it. You'll be a lot more happy with the results if you do take your time and allow the coats to kind of build up on their own. So you can see we got, well, it's about a, I don't know, maybe about a one inch band all the way around. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. And then we are gonna go back over and do one more coat of the white over all of this. But yeah, we want that to dry a lot more. So when that is done, I'm gonna do one more coat of reactive white and then that'll be done. And at that point, that is when you would kind of just set it aside and forget about it for a day and let it really set up and dry really well before you return it back to me. And the next picture you see will be it finished. Here is a finished tin can mug. I think it's great. I love it. You can see the dark blue, Egyptian blue at the bottom, the jadeite at the top, and then where they overlapped in the middle. And then you've got the same on the handle. It's breaking up just a little bit there. And then inside is that real pretty color of jadeite. So all in all, I'm really happy with these 